if I go back. Take him, maybe. Ah. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed, like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. I don't have any more ransom yet, Laura. Let's go. Like gills. The her. FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Call it instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. I love those pages. It's kind of cool. I just wish he had more to say. That kind of stuff I like a lot. I find it to be very entertaining. Shit. That's it. There ain't nothing else. You slut. This could be bad. Died. <laughs> Holy shit, come on. What's wrong with you? I'll get you thing? yet, even if it kills me. You hear yeah. me? You oh. hear me, HP Lovecraft? Shut up and lick the I shit had out fallen of my off so many cliffs, cut. it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Now I know what's coming. Well, two of them anyway. No sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Yeah, pretty much. Use 
finished my last fucking flashbang. Oh, there we go. Looking around. This fucking sucks, man. Oh, don't give me that shit. Okay, the darkness. Yeah. I'll let you get in here, Jesus H. Christ. Fun in here, guys. Are you kidding me? Fucking bullshit, dude. Shit, nope. Oh. Couldn't get out of the way in time. Oh, where is he? Are you kidding me? Urgh, gay. Of course, you can always run around and turn them on, but what's the supposed to do? I ran up there just for a manuscript? Oh, you're kidding me, right? Gonna make me run through the fucking woods? Hello? The most stubborn man oh. I've ever met. Jesus. Alice? Alice? It's not Alice. Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. Careful. Cooperate. 
The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. I'm gonna go to hell now. somewhere. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm going all the wrong way. Why you can hurt them. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> 